Hello there, this is Stephen Ball and in this video we're going to be looking at how we can use the Azure Cognitive Services from the Azure Cloud to take audio and convert it into text. So the Azure Cognitive Services have this feature that allows you to take a, a WAV file or an OGG file and to pass that via REST API call and then convert that output into the different text that is contained within that WAV file. So the sample for this is available on my GitHub. If you go to github.com forward slash Delphiable, there you'll be able to find the Azure-Cognitive-Services samples, which include the voice to text and also text to voice and translation and dictionary services as well. So let's get in. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you've got uh, an instance of the speech services running in your Azure cloud. So if you go to the portal.azure.com and register and sign in, there you'll be able to, there's a free tier and you can create a speech service. And here I've just got one um, set up already. What you will need is just go to keys and endpoints and make sure that you've copied your key and made a note of your region that the key is associated to so you can do the security in a moment. So back in the application, uh, we'll have a quick look at the sample and then I'll explain how the, the units kind of work behind the scenes. So the first thing, when you run the application, you'll need to select from the region uh, for the speech services, the, the region that was on the Azure portal, and also just paste in your key. Uh, and then once you've done that, uh, best thing is to just save the config. You can test it here quickly using the hamburger icon here. Um, that'll bring up the save dialog. Now, when this uh, application runs, it will pick up here uh, a specific uh, audio file that is um, deployed with the application that you'll get when you download the source code. And there's a build script that runs, which will kind of uh, trigger when you go to build for the first time. So just say yes to run and that will then automatically populate that. Otherwise, you can just use the dialog here to go and select any WAV file. Once you've selected it, you can play it just to here, make sure you've got the, uh, the correct one selected. Uh, and then you can go ahead here, choose the or define the audio language. Um, if you don't put one in, it will default to uh, US English. Um, but this will help in terms of just getting the conversion of the audio to text done correctly. And then there's two options, a simple export, which gives you the, the base text, or you can do the convert to text with the detail on it. And that will provide the JSON payload with additional information in there, including masking of profanities and, and stuff like that. So if you do have to be careful of swear language and, and so on, then that's something the service can take care of for you. OK, so let's have a quick look at this in action. And then we'll have a quick look at the code underneath afterwards. So here's the service key. That's all good. Let's go to the speech to text. You can see it's automatically picked up the audio wave. And if I just play that here. Why did the turkey cross the road? I don't know. Why did the turkey cross the road? Because the chicken was self-isolating. OK, so you can hear this is the output of the, the text to speech converted into a WAV format. So let's just now go ahead and convert this back. And this is now pushing the file up to the services. We can see we've got a success response. And here's the text. You know, why did the turkey cross the road? I don't know. Why did the turkey cross the road? Because the chicken was self-isolating. So we can see here it's missed out the question mark. It hasn't quite got the context of that. Um, but it's a pretty good translation all in all. And let's run the, the detailed version. And we see there's a little bit extra response back um, with the ITN and the masked ITN as well. Um, so, yeah, pretty useful if you need to kind of get that extra data back. So let's look at the code behind now and we'll just come over to the project. This is the speech to text unit, the Azure API 3 speech, speech to text. In here, we can see the kind of the core classes that are required here. Um, we have a T as your speech to text, and this defines the type for simple or detailed, um, also the 
options for the text profanity masking and um, for if it's masked removed or if you just want the raw text to return uh, and then there's the core result which provides back the speech to text data so the raw json plus the recognized status the display text the offset and the duration and um, yeah basically you create the instance pass in the region um, assign the token for security and then call speech to text and there's two overloaded methods one that passes in the link to the audio file um, and if you call that one all it does is just creates a string stream loads the audio file into the string stream and then calls the other method um, that takes in the stream uh, and then uh, that then calls the rest api Let's scroll back down here. Mouse playing up a bit. Um, uh, and here we are. We can see the stream coming in through here. Uh, and that ultimately gets used to, to write the raw data out uh, to the service as the REST request. Uh, and then we just pass the result to get, and get the, the data out into the result objects. The actual kind of main frame here to look at is the speech to text frame. Obviously, we had a quick look at this earlier in the, the sample, um, but uh, you can see here the specific uses um, that are in play uh, with the unit here, the speech to text unit. Uh, and then the pretty simple method here of checking which format we're using based on which button's been clicked, uh, and then just calling the kind of the API and then iterating the results to put them back out onto the screen. Uh, and that's literally it. Very, very simple code, uh, nice and easy to pick up and use. So as I say, um, please go ahead and check out the repo on the GitHub, uh, download it and have a play and uh, let us know how you're getting on. Uh, but happy coding and uh, chat to you soon. Take care. Bye.